Hey, what up, peeps? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless. And, uh, I forget his name. Zill I think his name is Zillier Tibe, Triple Six. <laughs> um, he wanted me to do a video of on what to do in the post game, I guess, after you beat the game. There's really not much to do besides collect loot. Um, they, they made this game as much as a, a looter as they did a, um, a mech game, pretty much. Like, all there is to do is really just, you know, look for equipment. <laughs> and everything's, uh, there's a drop table on Reddit. And, uh, if I can, if I, f if I remember, I'll throw it in the description bar. But, uh, it's pretty much just looking for all the different kinds of, um, helmets and weapons and trying to complete your collection. If you haven't looked here, it'll show you all the percentage of things you still need to find. As you can see, I still have a lot of things to find. Um, body modifications, item collections, uh, these badges. I, s I only have 50% of the weapons in the game, so I still have a lot of weapons. But yeah, it's pretty much just you know, looking for loot, defeating the bosses, completing all the missions in multiplayer, doing all the side quests. That's really all there all is to it. I mean, definitely look at the, the factory and see what you haven't made or see what you're close to and start collecting these items. I'm in a I'm in the middle of still collecting a lot of these items. Also, sometimes they won't pop up in the secret factory, but there's actually items that pop up in the regular factory. They will only show up when you find the the blueprints. I guess it, it, I don't know if it has anything to do with this battle data. I would also try to start completing this. Like, get us, get all these to 100%. And the blueprints, I guess, I think these are just random drops. I don't think they have anything to do with the battle data. But I, I even had an armor set that popped up from one of the bosses. I think I made this already. So yeah, look, this is a um, from the Rebellion boss, uh, a specialty helmet, and I don't even know how, if this thing's any good. Damn, it has a big sight size. Damn, that shit might be. I might put that on my next melee build. You know what I'm saying? But uh, oh, there was also a. Was there legs? Yeah, also came with these legs. I think I already have these. I don't even remember. But yeah, so just start collecting things. Um, if anything, I would start, if you're into PvP, I would start trying to develop a, a PvP build, mech that you want to go into. But it pretty much, that's it. Like, collect all the weapons, to complete all the missions, and try to get as much... Uh, as comfortable as you can with your mech and ready to get into PvP. There's going to be more uh, co-op missions coming out. Um, definitely do the lab. Play around with your lab builds. Collect money to it so you can have fun with that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. There's really not much to it. Definitely look at all the... Um, I don't know if I could show you guys the missions. Oh yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I still haven't done a lot of the co-op missions either. But yeah, look, start completing all these and start farming. And then start looking for all the stamps and stuff too. I don't know if you guys find all the stamps yet. I think there's a, I think someone has a list where some of them are. I might do a video on this later because I did, I have found a lot. And I thought there was only um, about two a mission, but I found three in one mission. Oh, the patterns, because a lot of these patterns are cool. I almost have all of them. I'm missing a couple. Some of these are pretty sick. Where are the decals? But yeah, start collecting all the decals, you know. There's really all that much to it. It's pretty much a collection game after you beat it, man. Just like Borderlands or anything else. It's just start trying to start looking for loot. <laughs> There's a lot of armor and weapons in the game, and there's only gonna be they're only gonna add more, so and the more weapons and armor you have, the more um more builds you can make and more variety you can have with your mech. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of things you can do with these mechs, man. You can kinda you can kinda do whatever you want. Like Armor Core, they're kinda like 
I want to say they force you to kind of like pick a loadout depending on like your leg size because of weights and stuff. But here you can have a speedy, bulky build, melee only, or a sniper. Like it's really easy to get things that you want and be more creative with it. So yeah, just focus on um, collecting. I know I said it like 20 times, but that's all you can do. Um, also, don't be afraid to uh, hit me up. <laughs> just uh, shoot me in the comments. I'll, I'll be down to do some multiplayer missions with you guys. Um, I don't play every day, but I, I'll get, I get on most nights. But yeah. So, deuces. I hope this helped. <laughs> Ask me any questions through the comments or whatever. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching.